So does your gut microbiome or the composition of the bacteria in your gut have any influence on COVID-19 outcomes? My name is Dr. Mikhail Rashik of Merogenomics and that's what we're going to be talking about in our video. But before we get started, I wanted to let you know we have another COVID Q&A event coming up. If you want to find out how you can get free tickets, please still, still till the end of the video to find out. And let's get going. So recently, or there was certain publications came out. This is actually since the beginning of pandemic that actually started to analyze microbiome in relation to COVID-19. So what is microbiome? Basically microbiome refers to the composition of your bacteria in different body parts. And they will be different from one body part to another. And the reason why we can analyze that information in such great detail these days is thanks to the next generation sequencing technology. So this is the technology we are heavily involved with, with merogenomics. That's the same technology that is used to decode human genomes or human DNA in relation to, to uh, learning about medical aspects uh, about ourselves. Another way of using that same technology is to analyze what kind of bacteria you have in your body by analyzing different bacterial genomes. So you can isolate or identify specific species of bacteria. Now, it's been already known for a while that bacteria composition is intimately linked to your health outcomes. Not only just even your health, but even who you are as a person, but we're not going to get into details about that in this video. What we're going to talk about is the fact that with COVID-19, yes, there have been studies showing correlations, so we don't know if this is true or not, if it's causative or not, but there have definitely been studies showing correlation between bacterial composition of an, of an individual and what kind of immune responses an individual will have to the SARS-CoV-2 infection and you could even correlate specific species to chemicals released by the immune cells and therefore also the final outcomes and you can correlate specific bacterial species to more negative outcomes because of the fact that certain species it's known that can promote proper or healthier activity of your immune systems or, or vice versa. There's other bacterial species that can negatively influence your function of your immune system and by looking at one type of bacteria these authors even were suggesting that perhaps if we can correlate that information properly we'll be able to one day identify who is at increased risk for negative outcomes by looking at the bacterial composition. So I um, wanted to mention that and this is primarily using <laughs> using gut bacteria. You can analyze gut bacteria composition by analyzing poop or you could do a biopsy. Well, you can figure out which one is the easier, I guess. And wanted to also mention that gut bacteria, it's one of the greatest reservoir of bacteria in our body. It has been known to be heavily linked to how we can regulate our immune system, including leading to autoimmune diseases. And sometimes it can even be a change of a single species of bacteria that can have an outcome. That's how delicate that balance is. And um, examples of such autoimmune diseases that have been linked to bacterial composition. There is variety. The most famous probably is irritable bowel syndrome or disease. And uh, another one would be type, type uh, one diabetes, Mul even multiple sclerosis and uh, Arthritis is another common one that's believed to be linked to the type of bacteria that reside in your gut. Bacteria release different chemicals and they release different molecular components. All of that interacts and communicates with our body and it does influence our immune system. So to give you an example, how does it happen? One way is to, that our gut bacteria can train our immune system so that the immune system over time, the immune doesn't, our immune system does not attack the bacteria that make up our body in the gut. 
So that's one way how bacteria can directly influence how the immune system works. And everything about the immune system is about proper balance. The immune system can be very powerful in protecting us, but if you break that appropriate balance, it can work against you. And it doesn't take much to really destroy that balance. So one way is that some bacteria species will promote the existence or, or, or preferential use of certain certain immune cells over others and this is how you can lead to perturbations because of your microbiome and even lead to such autoimmune disease uh, outcomes as i just mentioned so of course what influences the type of bacteria that are that is in your gut there are many factors this is big environmental effect because as I already mentioned, even one single species can have an impact. So the biggest one probably we can think of is diet. So we know that diet that, that is vegetarian diet and low in sugar, low in meat will have a very different microbiome than the opposite. And they can have different influences on in health. But there is other ways. Use of antibiotics, vaccination can even influence your microbiome where you are geographically located of course will have impact on your microbiome and even w what kind of birth you have will have different influence on your microbiome and how you are fed whether you're breastfed or not post birth will ha also have an influence so there's so many different variables involved we do know that when you are born you're pretty much sterile so the first bacteria that you as an individual are infused with is the vaginal bacteria microbiome that comes from vaginal birth from of course your mother and we do know that children that are born with uh, with the use of c-section they do not have that microbiome they have more microbiome related to the skin and as a consequence such children are at higher risk throughout lifetime of uh, experiencing health complications including more likelihood of being infected or even higher likelihood of having autoimmune diseases so you can see how dramatic influence what kind of bacteria is in your body can have on someone's health health throughout the lifetime so this is what i wanted to let you know about in in general hope you like that information if you're still with me we, I want to let you know that we have another COVID Q&A coming up. This is, I believe, number 11 now. So we're going strong. If you want free ticket, the first 10 people who subscribe to Merge Genomics newsletter will send you free tickets. The subscription is in the link is in the description below. So check it out. We basically answer questions related to COVID-19 and vaccinations, especially with a focus on mRNA vaccines and uh, all levels of background are welcome all right if we don't understand something cannot answer we'll look into the science we have another event coming up this is uh, a proactive well-being event that's offered to different business owners for their employees where three different experts got together to teach about how a person should most in a most holistic manner take care of their well-being so that we have an expert who is a financial well, financial expert someone who is a mental health well-being expert and then myself i discussed about dna mapping how you can take that to your advantage for learning about your future health outcomes all right if you uh, still with me and you like this information please give us a like share this video that's how we grow and um, leave a comment we do check as many of these as we possibly can and uh, thanks everyone to everyone who given us super thanks much appreciation we love it and we are looking forward to seeing you next time bye everyone